All truth is not kind to hear. There's a bitter truth as well as a sweet truth. Jesus said in John 8 32 you shall know the truth and there's one thing about the truth it will make you free and the first thing you need free is your mind and while we are here let's go ahead and deal with um, only black people can be Israelites y'all ready for this we're going to deal with this for a second all right all right so we've been a Tell the truth and shame the devil. All right? I'm going to do it again. I've already been over this once. I'm going to do it again for the sake. For the sake. Elder Donnie, come on up here, please. Brother Delano, come on up here, please. Elias, come on up here. All right? Now, what we have is we have brother. Okay, let's just say he's a Gentile. Let's get it more. Brother Rich, come on up here. We're going to break this down and make it simple. We're going to make this real simple. All right, Tamika and Jennifer, come on up here, please. Somebody watch the child back there. We're going to make this real simple. Is that all right? Y'all, y'all too, come on up there too. Go up there. And I want all your sisters to stand over to the side over here. Y'all stand over here to the side, all right? Zephyr, go up there. All right? Go up there next to Sister Diane. Go up there. You're finna be a Hollywood star. Ooh, we I'm a rock and roll star. Come on, Zephyr. We're gonna use you, brother. Zion. You, you come on over there, too. All right? Israel, go over there, all right? Got to break this down, all right? Brian, go over there. We're going we're gonna to break this down. Is that all right? Celia, you go up there, too. Go up there, Celia. Come on, Celia, hurry up. You holding up the whole Sabbath. Celia, go up there. Go up there with Sister Lisa. This way. Go over there with Sister Lisa. All right, let's start this off real simple. For right now, Elias, you go over there. Brother Delano, you go over there. Let's say he's a white Gentile, black Hebrew. All right? All right. Watch it. Sister Tamika, come over here. You ever heard of uh, Timotheus, father, Israelite, wife? All right. Come in, Zephyr. Come stand right here, Zephyr. You're doing a good job. Stand right, right here, Zephyr, so that everybody can see you. Now, Gentile, Israelite. And the seed is carried on by the man. Is that right? Yes. They have him. What is he? He's a Gentile. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Is, that, is that right? Yes. Okay. He grown up now. See, ladies, Zephyr, go right over there. Come on, Brother Doug. He grown up now. All right. This is their son. Are you getting it? He grown up real quick. <clears throat> All right. Come here, Sister Diane. He gets married to her. Come here, Brina. They have a child. All right. Come here, Israel. They have another child. All right. The seed goes through who? Her or him? Through him. What is he? A Gentile. Y'all get it? Come on back over. Come on, Sir Jennifer. Y'all two step back. Y'all two come over here, come forward. If he marries her, come on, Zion. 
They have a child. Is that right? Is he a Hebrew or is he a Gentile? Gentile. So when you think a lot of these people out today that's been bought over here on cargo slave trips, slave trips, <laughs> slave ships. <laughs> slave ships. You get it? Yes. All right. He grown now. All right. Come on. Elder Rufus, come on up here. This is a son. He, he grew up fast. All right. Now, y'all two stand back. Come on over here, Sister Lisa. Come on up here again, Zephyr. He blacker than a uniroyal tile. He married this woman. They had this child. What is he? Oh. Were not the blacks bought over here on slave ships? Did not slave master? All right, let's do that. Everybody over here. Stay right here, Sister Tamika. Come on, Brother Rich, you slave master. All right, all y'all children, come on. Oh, yeah. Come right over here, stand next to her. She had no power or no might to resist. They had all these children because he looking at this beautiful slave. Look at this beautiful slave, man. He just having his way because she's property. They have all these children. How many different hues would probably come out of there? And these children raise up. Then what we got? We got two girls and three boys. Y'all go over there. Come on, Brother Charlo. Y'all come on up, y'all two. They grown now. These are their children. These are their children. You get it? We're going to deal with the boys. All right? These boys, all of a sudden, watch this now. Sister Carol, go up there. Come on, sis, go up there. Sister Kalani, go up there. These boys, they get married on this side over here. Get in, one, just get in between one of them. Staggering. Yeah, one and one. They, they end up getting married. Look, look. All right? Y'all get this, right? You getting this, right? Come on, son. Go on up there. Y'all two fine men, get on up there. Get on up there. Come on. Come on. Come on, brother. Get on. Come on, brother. Come on. Brother Jordan, come on up there now. They have children. Just get behind one of them. Get behind some woman. You won't say in front of huh? so you can be seen. That's good. Watch this. Y'all see the family, right? Now, y'all three men come right here. Are they Hebrews or are they Gentiles? Well, break it down. You liars. I got to be so calm and break this thing down. So simple that even a child can understand it. Now, right off the bat, if you're following this doctrine, you'll say, all of these are Israelites. All of them, all of them are Hebrews. No, no, no doubt about that, Hebrews. Isn't that right? Come up here, brother Scott. Come up here, Elias. Come on up here, Israel. Come on here, brother Scott. You'll see them just by our appearance. Ain't no, I know, ain't no way they, y'all, you, you Esau. That, that, flat out Esau. Don't even stand in the chat. You're Esau. Now, wait a minute. All right, all of y'all go over here to the side for a second. All right. You go over there too. You stay right here. No, you go over there too. Come on, Elder Rufus. Come on up here. Sister Lisa, come on up here. These two are married. They have these three sons. Are you getting it? All right, y'all come on closer. Are you following? They have them sons. Y'all get this, right? They have these sons. Hebrew? 
Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. So how the hell are you going to tell me that somebody is a Hebrew or an Israelite or a Gentile by the color of their skin, you ignoramus? Is this making sense? Oh, yes, sir. Y'all three, come here. Yeah, all you little rentals, get on up here. <laughs> Y'all slide down a little bit. Get in between each one. One between each one. They end up getting married. Married. You go to the end. That's Scott and Angelica. <laughs> get, come on, look closer. There you go right there. Look. All of them get married. All right. Y'all three, come on up here. Three girls. All three, come on up here too, Brina. Come on. All four of y'all. Y'all stand right here. Y'all just stand right here. Yeah, we'll put you here. We'll put you here. We'll put you right here. And Brina, we'll put you right there. Y'all seeing this? Yes, Y'all see what we got right now, right? Yes, All right? Right now, Israelite, Israelite, Israelite. Is that not true? Yes. So guess what? Israelite, 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 regardless if you move her, you put him, her up here, and this is white mama. Because lineage is not reckoned by the woman. See, they wish I'd shut up right now. They wish I'd shut up right now. Y'all getting this, right? All right, all y'all go to the side. Come on over here, Brina. Y'all go to the side. Brina, you stay right here. This is now grandmama, granddaddy. This is, y'all two go over here too. Y'all come on. Y'all two go on there. This is now grandmama, granddaddy to this Israelite woman. Is that right? You getting it? All right. Now, mind you, she ends up, come on over here, Israelite man. Because, see, she looks white. He looks white. An Indian. <laughs> David, come here, David. Get up here, run. Now, this was somebody who came through out all these lineages and everything, but she was a Hebrew, she's a Hebrew woman. This is another one that came through different mixtures. He's a Hebrew man. And they end up having him. What is he? Hebrew. You liars. Is this making sense? We breaking it down. All right, y'all go over there. Y'all come on over here. We got half the congregation up here. Don't we? Come on, David. Go on over there. Stay right. Don't go nowhere. Come on, sister. You go over there. Stand right here. All right? Come on, brother. Hebrew, Hebrew man, Hebrew woman, both come over on ships. All right? Provided that she actually made it through. And a lot of them did make it through. Because the only ones that they wanted, that the white slave man wanted, was the good-looking ones. You had the common looking ones, ah, we, we leave them for the mandingos. Does that make sense? They wanted the good looking ones. All right? What they call good looking. So let's say you had these two and she made it through. Come on, Zion. Come on up here, Zephyr. There you go. Stand right there. Now they have two children. Because being Black, what was commonly given us as a designation. Huh? They're just saying, Israelites, we can have a plethora of children. You can look at my, me and my brothers. We three of them, and we three, we can call us Sam, Ham, and Japheth. And I'm Shem. <laughs> All right? But it's simple. You can see it clear as day if you ever met them. Now, 
we can have this different hue right here. And then they could turn around and end up marrying. Come here, Brina. They're going to end up, come on here, David, producing David. Is that right? Israelite, Israelite, Israelite. Y'all getting this? So the devil is a liar. Now, all y'all come up here. All y'all come up here. We the family of Israel. You know the reason why we know that we are real true Israelites? Because Yah has given us his Holy Spirit. Is that right? You got all these people out here claiming Israelite. Yeah, you do. Genealogy, both black and white, and none of them have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. See, when Yah, he's the one going to answer. Y'all know them that are his, and he gives his spirit to them that obey him. So don't sit up there and try to tell me. I don't understand it. I know this better than all y'all put together. You're only going to know you're an Israelite when you get filled with his Holy Spirit. His Ruach HaKadosh. Now try to find fault with that. Who gonna find fault with that? Nothing but a fool. That's why y'all, all y'all out there that's spying on our liberty, you need to come out of that mess. All that racist crap. You come out. Is that good? Is that beautiful? What? Uh, you can't break it down no more now. Now you know the reason why we don't discriminate, especially when y'all give someone the same spirit. Isn't that what Peter said? Yeah. Over in Acts chapter 10? He says, who am I? Huh? Who am I? I can't deny these people. God's giving them the same Holy Spirit he gave us. Uh-oh. So much for that newfound term called racism. That's why I keep telling a lot of you are Edomites. And you blacker than an than Ethiopian Africa. African. And Ethiopian Africans got different hues of color too. Just pick one. And some of you are just flat out Israelites after the flesh. But are we now not dealing with the spirit as well? Now, I feel with the Holy Spirit. I've been having the Holy Spirit been speaking in tongues for 25 years. Are you following? He turns around and he gives this little daughter of Zion the same Holy Spirit. I can bear witness to it. I got this thing 25 years. And I see her and then I watch her holding this down. And I go, whoa, look at here. Look at it. Y'all, the sovereign, the king of the universe, gave her the same. I can bear witness to that, can I not? Gave her the same spirit as I got a long, long time ago. And no, she don't look like me. My hair look like a Brillo pad. I look like a sheep. Yours look like a horse. But yeah, y'all didn't discriminate. Isn't that beautiful? Somebody give the most high hand praise. Bless y'all. Thank y'all very much. Y'all go back seat. Mm -hmm. Now we'll make sure, Brother Jermaine, we'll put that all across the internet. Y'all got YouTube pages, Facebook pages, it, put it all over the place. And let's see somebody find fault with that. Can't make it no more simple than that, can you? This thing is based on who Yah has called. Glory to the king. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah, one more. Let's do one more here. One more. All right. I'm a Hebrew. All right. All right. Come on up here, Caroline. Come on up here, Sister Carol. Come on up here, Jordan. 
Come up here, Sister Nelly. Come up here, Tomoko. Renee, come on up here. She's like, oh, please, please, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, you sit in school, you go, please don't call on me, please don't call on me. Please don't call me. And you're looking right at him and trying to get the teacher not to call, call him. All right, I'm a Hebrew man, right? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm an Israelite, yes, sir. and I'm um, kind of like King David. I like sisters. Hmm? So I got this one from the nation. I got this one because I killed a husband in war. I got this one from the nation. Got this one from the nation. I got this one because I decided to go over to the land of the sun and beat up them and, and kill them men and take her for war. And I took her for war too. So you mean tell me I can't marry none of these because of the color of their skin? Because genealogists reckon by what? A man. So whatever seed come out of them, no matter what color they may look like, guess what? They'll all be Hebrews. Ain't that something? I don't care what nationality. We got different nationalities up here. The only provision that these could be pulled away is if they're playing one of them Solomon things and they're keeping their own religion from their own nation. So when you read Ezra and Nehemiah, read it right. When you're talking about strange, put away the strange women and the church, read it, let's get it right now. Let's don't hold one thing and then, then throw away the other. Huh? Look at them looking. See, this is so far from us because we've been way, raised Western. They'll call this an abomination in a western society. Hmm? But it ain't no abomination. Come here. It ain't no abomination and we boom, boom, boom. And it's my honey. My honey. Don't call her white. Won't she my honey? Hey, hey, come on over here. Now I'm Mac Daddy honey. And, and, and they ain't got no, they even know. But I'm Mac Daddy. I'm Mac Daddy. <laughs> and the religious world and the secular world will not raise no hell at all if I had three babies apiece by each one of them. Won't say a word. You liars. Y'all two stand over there, but if I turn around and, I, and I'm marrying all of these according to Hebrew law and I'm taking care of them, they call that an abomination. No, you're an abomination. You are a liar. And let's tell the real truth, the reason why America and the Western Christian philosophies and religions of the world don't want this to happen. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Y'all want to know the reason why? Huh? I'm going to tell you the reason why with the same history that the Europeans came over and conquered the Indians. See, what you want to do is you want to go, if you're going to conquer a land, the first thing you want to do is reduce the population so that your population you want to kill all the males you keep the women and you keep the little girls and you go into them and make seed and they're yours. So what the Europeans did, they killed all, the majority of all the Indians, the few percent that they are, they put them on reservations, gave a few of them a couple of Oprah Winfrey deals. In other words, gave them casinos and money to make you think that as a, a people that they're doing all right, they're prospering. But the rest of them are drunks and don't know who they are. They have no fight in them no more. Huh? Come on, big brother, Brent, brother Ron. Come on, big El Don. All y'all men, come on up here. But see, if I turn around and Jacob, and I got all these sons, what do you think I'm gonna teach these sons? If I'm an Israelite, I'm a Hebrew. What am I gonna teach these sons? I'm a Hebrew. This is what they're afraid of. But they ain't telling you. They plan on your stupidity. 
and your dumb ignorance. What was happening in Mizraim? They wanted the midwives to kill what? The sons, didn't they? I had all the daughters I want, but they didn't care nothing about it, but if I had sons. Because I'm going to teach them the ways of Yah. Make warriors out of them. Then they're going to have sons. They're going to teach them, this is what they're afraid of. See, what they want is they want this model right here, produce one son, and you're Christians, and there ain't no fight in you. Uh-oh. They're preaching this little pagan religion. Love your enemy. Love everybody. Do good to those who, who persecute you. When we put this whole book together, it don't tell us that. It teaches me to do good to my home, my brothers and sisters. Uh-oh. Huh? Y'all notice everybody's done, all the rats done went and found a hole to go roll and fly in. All these people that used to try to talk about me because I'm talking about biblical marriage. They can't handle the truth. Go oh, red! <laughs> and see, when I have all these, all these wives right here, guess what? The center of attention and focus is now on me. They're going to be in competition to see who can out serve me. Whereas in American society, I'll be there for you all night. Let me show you. Would you marry me? All that crap. Yes. Castrating the man. You know how many Israelites I could produce out of this? And every one of them that come from them, each one of them will know who their mother is. Not only that, but they would have one, two, three, four, five mothers. They would have all the children have five. How hard would we fight as a nation? If me and my sons and their sons are going to war. Huh? How hard would we fight for each other? See, in these booty-loving Roman empires, that's why the military is becoming homosexual. Your boy lover's going to be in a foxhole. Repeating history. Greeks and Romans. But see, if we went out to a raid, we went out to go on a war, man, you better believe this would be the most passionate war you'd ever seen for because why? That's my son. That's my nephew. That's my uncle. That's my brother. We connected. We all come back home, all our women, y'all walk past the women and y'all pat them on the shoulder as they walk by. All the, son, all the wives, and they be like, hey, good job, sons. Good job, sons. Good job, sons. Good job. Good job. Good job. Don't that sound like a woman you read about in the Apocrypha? Yes. Huh? Don't that sound like a woman in the Apocrypha? Because these women, knowing who they are, now that they belong to me, they would teach their sons, don't you ever compromise. If you are sitting up here, you in captivity, you die a good death. But don't you ever forsake the most high y'all. Because they'll be talking because I'm teaching them. This is what the world of Western society don't want you people to know. They are still after the sons. They still after the firstborn. But instead of killing you physically, they've destroyed you right here. Right here. All, the, all these little foolish women talking about that. I, 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 don't, I don't want no, I don't want no other sister. I, why can't I just have one man? You got one man, Ignoramus. Yes. See, how do you know where do you think we came into Israel? 70. 
came into Egypt, 70, and came out a big nation. Why you make Pharaoh and them say, let's kill all them Hebrew boys. She having too many babies. Y'all stand over here. Right there. Y'all regulates this. He has laws for this. He approves of this. And he told David, if you wanted more, I'd have gave you more of them too. But after, if they mind is reared out the Western philosophy, they in this little childish base mentality, looking at each other with envy and jealousy. When well, you ain't supposed to have no envy and jealousy in your wicked hearts, envy is just rottenness to the bones. See what else they don't want? What I'm gonna tell you, they don't want a cohesive unit like this. Because if this sister falls down sick and she down for a month, nobody knows what's going on. You look who was able to take up the slack with the other children. Huh? If this one's got a business and she got to go out and take care of the business and stuff, look who's still left to help take care of the home. It's called economic warfare. That's basically what it is. But y'all two come on in. But if I was Mac Daddy, boom, 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 boom. Hold it down here. I have no commitment with none of them. I got two by her, one by her, three by her, four by her, one by her, and three by her. The world will say, that's all right. And you know what else I could do? Huh? I could actually put all them on welfare. I could get all these food stamps and EBT and everything else. And you know what? I could, man, I could put all them resources together. And the world won't say nothing about it. You should be thinking, God, that I ain't pulling from your system. See, this is what, y'all go over there. This is what the politicians do. Politicians ask, one wife and a mistress on the side. See, when I'm in Nebraska, I'm over here. When I go to Washington, I'm over here. And when I get in front of the camera, I'm over here. But you don't never see her over here. But let's say I married to her. I don't want you to want divorce. I married to her. I don't want you to want divorce. Come on. I married to her. I don't want you to want divorce. Come on. I married to her. I don't want you to want divorce. Want to want divorce. Donald Trump. This is celebrated in America. And this is called serial polygyny. If you put the right definition to what's really going on. Yeah. See what I'm doing. Also. <laughs> Thank y'all sisters. Y'all sisters can have a seat. Y'all some good Israelites. Bless y'all. Y'all brothers, come on up here. All y'all brothers, come on up here. Y'all brothers, y'all two, come on over here. Y'all three, come on over here, brothers. But see, here I am. Let's say I'm uh, Jacob. And I got 12 tribes of Israel. They gonna have sons. So guess what? If, if you come and pick on one of us, you know what you got to deal with? You know what you got to deal with? Do you know what you got? Come here, sister Ashley. You know what you got to deal with? Let's say we had a, a Gentile party. And all of a sudden, our sister, our, my, my daughter, their sister, ends up getting raped. You ever heard this story before? You ever heard this story before? I'm going to tell these men, all right, bless you, cheap. She's all distraught and everything. Now, sons, listen to me. We got all these other nations surrounding us. 
All right, now they have agreed to be circumcised. and We're not going to do anything to them. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. As soon as I leave, they're going to get together. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to say, you know what? Dad is now. He done lost his damn mind. I'll tell you what, man, as soon as we circumcise them, we're going to get them boogers. We're going to get them. And they're going to have a bloodletting. They're willing to take, man. I get back and all I'm doing is just like a chicken, just ah, really ain't condemning them. Because even though the Torah's not written, I already know that the law says death for that. Especially one of another nation, too. So I'm raising, ah, but I'm really not condemning them for their actions. Go read the book. Sons of thunder. Isn't that true? Yes, sir. Bless y'all, brothers. Thank you very much. So you see, the world is a liar. Yes. The world is a liar. The world don't want you to know the truth. Every man, if he had any sense, ain't no way he'd take three and four wives in this generation. They got to be, these wives got to learn how to fear Yah. And the men, it has to start with you, man. Are y'all getting this? Now let's see somebody condemn this. Uh-oh, look at him looking.